I stand before you as Willy Hemminger's son, but not as a Jarl. There is only one man with the needed honor and wisdom. Only one man my father deemed worthy of following him. Trigfi, Jarl of Snottingham. May you walk proudly in Hemminger's path. What is this? Old friend, you deserve this. And so much more. Be proud. My future is elsewhere, Trigvi. I will go with Eivor to live and fight beside the Raven Clan. I... I do not know what to say. Say yes. Yes. Thank you, Vili. Eivor. Well done, Arstic. Until my path leads me home, I serve under your banner, Eivor. Eivor, let my first decree be Hemminger's wish, an alliance between our people. When you call, we will rise. As we shall for you, Trygve Jarl. No one can live up to Hemminger Yard, but I will do my best to serve in his stead. Thank you, Eivor. I entrust Vili to you. I want to know about this. This time I return to the settlement. So glad to see you. Hey. 
king. I bring fair tidings, Ranvi. Himingar Jarl in Snottinghamshire has passed, but his clan remains allied to us. Sad news, but you made the best of it. I saw my old friend Vili on my visit. He has now joined our clan and will serve as a raider on my ship. I remember the young man. He will make a fine addition to your crew. I want to see the Alliance map. Mind is fixed on Sussex. Bassam and I have a chance to save Sigurd, but we will need an army. I believe you do. Now is the time to strike, before Fulke decides Sigurd is of no more use to her. I will go now, and I'll bring Sigurd back with me. That is a promise. Good. I will send word to our allies at once. Meet with Basim when you can. He should be in Croydonay by now. Vili! Making yourself at home? As best as I know how. It is good to be here, with you and your people. I feel my life has found a new road. Good, and just so you know... We have all kinds of sticks nearby. Oak, beech, pine. In case your bum starts itching from sitting too long. How kind of you, Eivor. I will be sure to stir your soup with one after I have had a sound scratching. Looks like a heaven. Thanks for the good work, Eivor. Got a real little fishery going here. Are you the man in charge? It's my grandfather, really. But he says the best way to learn responsibility is by working. Besides, between you and me, I'm better at it. More of a people person, you know? I do. It's good to have you. Both of you. Your beggar is done, Tarben, and our feasting table will be warmer for it. Eivor, that is... kind of you. I hope one day I can repay you. You are among friends here. There is no need. No need, but a desire. An earnest one. I remember the good things people do for me. To warm my heart in times when... when kindnesses are few and far between. There was one more thing, though, if you had a moment. A grain merchant has set up downriver. I want to bring a half dozen bags home, but I would need an extra pair of hands. I cannot help now. Maybe later. No, Russ. Just let me know.
Thank you for this. Whether fur, meat, or bone, we will provide only the finest. And if you intend to go hunting, consider bringing us your kills. We will prepare the hides and heads. Aye. I've been mounting Petra's trophies for years, and she's a discerning woman. In all things. I'll keep that in mind. Enjoy your new home. Eivor, you seem to be someone with a penchant for trophies. I do like victories, but I rarely keep a record of them. Your weapons show the marks of great battles, and you walk with a pride that speaks to your triumphs. Am I wrong? You are not. Why do you ask? To bolster our trade, of course. Wallace is the finest tanner and taxidermist in all of England. If you wish the tales of your hunts to outlast you, there is no better way than making trophies of your kills. If you defeat a rare and worthy creature, bring it to us. We will display it for you. A good idea. Keepsakes to adorn the longhouse. Thank you, Petra. Oh, and before you go, could you spare a moment for a small favor? I do not have the time right now, but I will return. Happy to say I've refreshed my stocks. May I see your stores? Done for now. I have something that may interest you. I'd pay well for this. Nothing else. I'll see you later, friend. Until next time. Survey the area, Sunan. Who it is? Practicing your work. Ah, eh? You told me the. How about another? No, no. Understood.
see. Swanborough, you made it. I did. I should send a letter to Hunwell to give him the news. Oh, you know how he frets over me. He misses you, that is certain. But as Alderman, he cannot afford to let his grief overpower him. I pray he fares well. I adore the lad, but I worry the burden will be too great. He should be fine. He has the heart of a leader. Now come, settle in, and enjoy your new home. The breadbasket of Wessex, land of plenty. <sighs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Packing up and riding home. Shut your blowhole, brother. You want me to tell Halfdan how easily you break an oath? <laughs> oh, brother. Do you forget she has Halfdan Jarls here? Stop talking if you know what's good for you. Eivor, you giant steaming bowl of elk piss. <laughs> King Oswald sends his regards. Brother, brother. Or is it the other way around? It's... Uh, good to see you, Eivor. Oh, stop mewing like a heartsick kitten. He's been moping since the wedding. There'll be time later to reminisce. Are you madmen ready to spill some blood? After that bastard red, some nice soft Saxons will make easy meat for my blade. Eivor, my second favorite Norse. Must we always drift together on such violent tides? That is the way of things. Yet the meeting of friends is a glimmer of light in these dark days. Ever the optimist, though. It's good to see you both. I brought no pleasant words, only my blade. Let's see which proves more useful. You wouldn't be the first man to fall asleep on watch, but you would be the loudest. I did not mean to fail you, Gudrun Jarl. It was only for a moment. I was so tired. As are we all, boy. We marched hard to get here. Still, <gasps> let's not disappoint me again. You hear? My Jarl... I'm... sorry. You must be Eivor. I've heard much of you, young one. They say you're something. We'll see. Stay around a while and judge for yourself. Oh, I will. Have no fear of that. Eivor hopes to rescue Sigurd from the madwoman Fulke, now ensconced in Porchester Fortress. If you wish to crown yourself King of Wessex, Porchester must fall. An alliance here serves us both. You promised a great army, but you couldn't breach a Kron's garden with what you have assembled here. This is not the sum of my forces. Where are the rest? Your allies are on their way. We must be patient. We cannot wait for them. We march as soon as we are able. With these numbers, are you keen to see Valhalla today? I'll not sit on my heels while Sigurd rots in that she dog's care. We might muster for an attack in the woods east of Porchester. But there are scouts between there and here. Scouts I can manage. Point me at them and I will blind Fulke's eyes. One walks the road between Briggsworth and Chichester. Another on the riverbank north of Crowley. A third keeps watch on the hills south of Croendine. But I warn you, these are all we know of. There may be more. A risk we must take. I will find the scouts. You move the men into position near Porchester. That is a rash gamble, Ravenfield. If we are spotted, we will be vulnerable. If you want victory, come now or not at all. Every hour we waste could be Sigurd's last. You had better be all they promised. <gasps> Luvina, once again we battle side by side. Greetings from the north, old friend. And how is your still griping about the mess we made of Jorvik's council? But grateful for the help. To be honest, I think he's upset he didn't see the problem sooner. His pride is slow to heal. Thank you for heeding my call, friend. Sigurd will be grateful when he hears you have come. For your brother, I would upturn every rock in England. That snake Fulke hides behind walls of stone. But Eivor will drag her out. 
Still got a soft spot for her, don't you, brother? Him and the Lord? <laughs> Lower your aim, friend. You'll have better luck. Take me, A4. Our victories will all the gods themselves. Raid with me, warrior, for plunder, glory, and Valhalla. Raver will help any bitch builder. So. Show me. This... They said there would be a scout on this hill. I smell blood on the air. Stretch your wings sooner. A scout patrols the riverbank north of Crowley. and said he would be.
shouldn't be seen. Better be hooded. waiting in the woods east of Porchester. I need your eyes, my friend. Scouts are dead, and you're safely encamped. I told you this would work. Time will tell. Any eye that saw you has been dimmed by death. You are not short on confidence. That much is clear. I found something of interest on one of the scouts. Folk has news of Croindonen's fall. She's gathering men and supplies, perhaps to weather a siege. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, it might be months before we can get Sigurd out. Do you still say I am reckless in my haste, Guthrum? Saxons! Saxons from the west! I say your haste has put us squarely in the shit. Fulke was forewarned. There must have been more scouts than we knew of. What's All done right. is done. Save your breath.
Chester! They flee like rabbits! Then we chase them like hounds! That ugly bastard's head is mine! Not if I get there first, slow arse! Leave him! The day is already won! <laughs> <laughs> Bay. 
your false deities like a plague to this land. But you know nothing of those who truly decide our fate. I decide your fate today, Saxon. I am ready for my final journey. Let me see what lies beyond. When you see your guard, tell him I sent you. <laughs> He's dead, Eivor. No breath within him. You are wounded, brother. Let me bear your brother to the camp. He was always quick. Stripling, I warned you the risk was too great! Peace, Guthrum. It is Fulke who merits your wrath, not Eivor. You have not seen the half of my wrath. How many of my men now lie dead on account of this glory hoarder? Many have died, my friend here among them. The fault is mine, knowing that is shame enough. Small comfort, that is to the dead. What happened here? Uba, Soma, you come at a black hour. And too late to bloody our blades. Most a pity. I hope to take Porchester with this one. But Folk is forewarned now. I have no more appetite for this. I will go west. Go then. But know you leave me in a time of need. What you need is to swallow your pride, raven feeder. Listen to wiser heads than yours. Eivor? I will hear you, Guthrum Saxon Bane, if you wish to speak your peace. You want your Jarl back? You must be cold as frost. Bravery is your enemy as often as your friend. We do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected. Strike swift. Gather your allies. Pick your moment. Then, and only then, you crush them. You can triumph yet. Go with the wisdom of Odin, the power of Thor, the wit of Freya. Go and find your brother. Gudrum spoke in anger, but there is wisdom in what he says. We will wait for our allies before the final attack. Until then, we have work to do. First, we need a new camp. The Saxons think we have retreated, but we will draw even closer. Here. Arrive unexpected. Erke, Stove, Juvena, ride there ahead of me. Together, we will bring them down. It brings me no pleasure to fight my own people. But a debt is a debt. Besides, there are men of Vasex, Alfred's folk. No brothers of yours. We will set off immediately. Together we will fall upon them as Thor's hammer. After that, we should strike at Fulke's supplies all across Sussex. Yes. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, we will lose our chance to rescue Sigurd. The letter I found on the scout mentioned Bridgeworth, Gildefort, and Crowley. They produce weapons in Crowley. Food in Gildefort. Bridgeworth is a stronghold. Many Saxon swords there. Uber, I need your axe arm at Gildefort. Soma, you and your men will aid me in Crowley. Count on us. I will go to Bridgeworth and take a measure of things there. Good. I'll join you after I've dealt with the Saxon camp. A lion's heart and a crow's cunning. 
Guthrum judged you too swiftly. We have work to do. Let's be about it. Soma and Uba, I apologize. I would have liked to offer a better welcome after your long journey. I'm only sorry we could not be here sooner. We'll need a short while to organize the men. Then we'll set off as soon as we're able. How does it look? Crawling with Saxon soldiers like lice on a swine. The very sight sours my blood. Would the sight of their bodies in the mud please you better? One way to find out. Eivor, I beg you. Alfred's men are not, they are Saxons and Christians. If I could speak to them, we might avoid bloodshed. And lose the element of surprise? These people make their living by the blade. We should attack headlong. You know the people of this isle better than I, Stowe. I trust you. Thank you, Eivor. I will do what I can. Brave soldiers, my name is Stowe, Reeve of London. And this Dane at my side is Reeve Erke. He is my partner in London. Together, we see that justice is done. But more, he is my friend. In London, we live in harmony with the Danes. So could you. But your king does not share our philosophy. 
Alfred bleeds his land dry. Works you all to the bone for a needless war. Now he wants you to die for it. So I beg you, in God's name, walk away from this camp. I will find you new and worthy employment in London. You are good men and true. I would not want this day to be your last. This one's right. The Danes are here to stay, like it or not. What good's dying now? Don't be a lackwit. Soon as you drop your swords, they'll murder us. That's no heathen talking. He's a Saxon. I, for one, believe him. Come on, lads. It's a new life in London for us. Better that than dying here in the mud. We'll deal with you traitors later. The rest of you, attack! Brave try, friend. But now we do things my way. When words fail, iron speaks loudest. Right. Hours. My warriors will arrive soon. Now I must see about destroying Fulke's supplies. How will we ever share this land if we kill one another so readily? The weak fall beneath the strong. It has always been so. No. There is more to this world than that. No. There is more to this world than that.
wooded here. Gildeford is a town of farmers and grain silos. All is ready? We're a town of farmers and shepherds. This place bristles with swords. One of them is a thane by his dress. Serious men with him, too. Went into the longhouse. If we take care, we might avoid drawing the thane's attention while we burn the grain silos. <laughs> Was that a jest? Bring them on! Been too long since I met a Saxon warrior worth half a shit. Show me what lies ahead. Jesus, God, my blows! Not much longer, corpse! Have a look, Sunan.
Worth. A forest of sex and swords awaits within those walls of stone. I should consult with Bassam. He will be nearby. No close up, please.
What have you discovered? Bridge where swarms with guards, reinforced from the river. Word is that two of Fulke's finest oversee such matters. We should kill these leaders and burn their ships. Tribbled and put to panic, their men will be in no place to join Fulke at Porchester. Frightened men look to their own interests. A good plan. Sunan, guide me.
Must be blocked from the other side. should be near the boats. On my way. Sailing for these sections. Indeed. Ah. 
Keep focus! Our work is done. Fulke will have no help from Bridgeworth now. See you back at camp.
Can't raise the sail yet.
Russian steam by words gain wind. All things need I thought will break. sail! For noble Let's deeds, go. thine honor sink. Soma, what is happening here? Bandits, taking advantage of the disorder in Suffolk to fill their pockets. Odin smiles on us today. Let us make sure this place is burned to the ground. Fulker will get no more weapons from here. We could charge in while they are distracted, but it would be safer to use fire arrows. We burn them from afar. Watch them scatter like cats. A sound decision. I agree. Archers! Take your positions! Stand ready, Eivor! When they see us, they will charge. We must defend the men! dances with hard tongues. Soon it will be ashes.
Elderman Hunwald, you honor your father by answering my call. Swanborough sends her regards. My lady love, let her name be my flame of hope, for I confess the thought of this battle turns my guts to water. Fighting is easy. Just look your opponent in the eyes, then put an axe between them. Yes, I remember. Well, I have brought the best archers in Lincolnshire to lend their bows to your cause. Good. We will rain death upon our enemies today. Good work, Honvold. Be ready. Eivor has returned! Hail, Wolfkiss! I appreciate your efforts to spare the innocent, Eivor. At least we saved some lives here. One day, Saxon and Dane, Norse and Britain, will live as brothers and sisters as they do in London. I only wish the path to peace were not paved with so many skulls. We cannot choose the way the world is. Our only choice is how to face it. Eivor, forgive me. I have slain too many of my own people already. I cannot kill more. I must return to London. And you, Erke? Do you feel the same? Someone has to keep an eye on him in the big city. He would only get himself killed otherwise. We took this camp together, so I'll ask no more of you. Return home, and let your friendship be a beacon to our peoples. Godspeed, Eivor. I pray you come back safe. Eivor has returned! Hail, Wolfkiss! Beersten, I'm glad to see you again. How's your family? Alvida keeps my house and heart in order. She has even charmed that old shrew, Adred. And Elorich, he has not returned. I hear stories of a man full of tempests, picking fights in taverns. We must hope. When hope is all we have. I am sorry for your troubles, but glad for your help. I have brought for you a ram of unsurpassed craftsmanship. Their gates will not hold long against it. That is a fine gift indeed. I'll make good use of it. Fight hard, Eivor. When have I done otherwise? So my Yal's gonna. You seem grave. I'm thinking on the battle to come. Every conflict has a cost. I wonder who will pay this time. We are no strangers to loss, you and I. The ache of absent souls is a wound that never heals. But we may yet return your brother to your side. There is that. Fulke and her men will bear the cost today, not us. I wish I were as sure of it as you. Ever my staunch ally, Lufina. Are your men ready? They are. Bows strung and arrows fletched. We will harry the enemy from the flanks to keep them off your back. They will not have a moment's peace from us. I know I can count on you, Lufina. What are friends for? Hunwald, Elderman of Lincolnshire. It does have a lordly ring, does it not? Like the name itself was a holy notch waiting for the right peg to fill the space. And how do you find your responsibilities? Well, answering complaints and levying taxes are a bore, to be honest. But the spirit of an Elderman flows in my veins. I shall find a foothold soon enough. Billy, you stiff old ass stick. How are you? Careful, Eivor. Don't make me thrash your hide as I did when we were children. As I recall, it was you who always finished snot faced and teary eyed. Well, it will be Saxons weeping today, after me and my berserkers get hold of them. Do that, and you and I will raise a horn together. I look forward to it. Now, let us find your brother.
Bishop Deolov. Strange to see a man of God on the battle lines. It may surprise you, but I was no stranger to horse and hunt in my younger days. It is Saxons we fight this day, Deolov. Not Britons, and not in Mercia. It is Fulke I fight. A false Christian preaching a corruption of God's word. If I can assist in her downfall, I will. Then you are welcome here, friend. Uber, any advice before we begin? Advice? You need none of that now. You stand in no one's shadow, Eivor. Lofty praise from the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. It may be that one day our paths lead us to doom, Eivor. But at least we can say the footprints we left were our own. You are quite the agent of chaos. Fulke's men are chasing their tails, not knowing where you will strike next. Poor Chester has neither the supplies nor the forces to keep us out now. And you have bought time for your allies to arrive. Many have come, not least the bishop here. As I promised. <laughs> As the keeper of God's word, it would be poor form if I did not keep my own. Now, if the talking is done, there's blood to be spilled. Eivor, dark news. We found a letter on one of the dead. Fulke has called for aid. Reinforcements. A Saxon army marches from Winchester. Then my men and I will ride to meet them. We will harry them every step of the way to buy you time. We may begin the assault at once, or you might wish to speak with your allies, if you've not done so already. Warm words do thaw the chill of battle fear. We march. When the sun sets on this day, Sigurd will be returned to us, and Fulke's head will be on a spike. Let us begin. Did you enjoy the gift I left you in Canterbury? You will die today, Fulke! But your men may live if you come here to me and settle this alone! We have nothing to settle! Die on these walls if you will! It is your choice! No wall is high enough to keep me from you! Then come! Clam your brother if you can! I shall wait with him! If you would find us... You need only follow his screams. Fulke! What will the skulls say when they speak of this day? They will say we unleashed such rampant slaughter. That Odin himself stirred on his throne to watch. They will say that ravens blackened the sky to feast on Saxon dead. So raise your swords with me now, brothers and sisters, for today is the day we carve our names into legend! <laughs> I'm coming for you, brother.
so many battles and so few scores, Basim. What's your secret? I don't get hit. Aha! The simplest strategies are the best. Clear the way! Let's take down that palisade!
feels stronger already. Of death, Vasim. 
Sigurd was here once, but no longer. 
Where has Fulke taken him? Huh? Is this Sigurd's blood? Still fresh. Sigurd! Every instant of your torment, Fulke will suffer tenfold. Fulke must have taken him there. Come on, Bassem. Face us, Fulke. The cowardice betrays you. 